There is another place that people are thinking about putting Linux servers, and that is we are literally thinking about sending them to space. Well, we've already done that. Um, but every one of those Linux servers in space is something of a bespoke solution. So you've got companies like SpaceX that run their rockets with Linux. Uh, the laptops and the International Space Station are running Linux and have for a while now. Uh, reportedly because they couldn't keep viruses off of them when they were running Windows. I don't know if that's entirely true or not, but it's, it's a great story and I'm going to stick with it. Uh, then there is, of course, one of the Mars rovers, the helicopter, uh, Inspiration, I think it was called, or Endeavor. Oh my goodness, I can't remember the name of it. Um, but famously ran Linux and uh, Ingenuity. It was Ingenuity. So there is a, there's a group that is looking at changing this. And so at the Open Source Summit in Japan, uh, Ramon Roche, uh, general manager of the Drone Code Foundation, talked about this and that, you know, Linux is quickly becoming the standard for space, uh, that, that there's, no, there's no sort of uh, unified approach to this. That is, their, that is their goal. And they call it Paper Moon as a possible standardized Linux, sort of a distro, more like a, a toolkit, you would say, 